Good morning, and welcome back to the loft. So, I've got myself set up behind me, ready to start the stud walls on the first floor. So, I'll go upstairs and show you what we're doing with that. The lads are upstairs just finishing off the plasterboard. So, if you've been watching, you know that there's a wall going there, across here, which is the old bathroom, that's coming this side of the toilet, there. And then, as you can see with the laser line, if I turn this off now, for you. I've come 70 mil off the steel up there to my laser, which you can't quite see because I'm standing in it. That's 70 mil, and I've come 70 mil off the steel there to that point, and my wall is going this side of the laser. Right, 70 mil because it's 65 mil from the edge of the steel to there, so I've come 75 mil because the customer wants this one in the wall but he's happy to have that one in the room and the reason we're doing that is to make the bathroom a little bit bigger uh, you may remember from earlier episodes that original plan was there was a wall going under this one and a wall going under that one because this is the configuration of the steels that we had to do this is just we hadn't got any choice because we couldn't obviously put two steels end to end there unless of course we um, joined them and what have you but that they weren't happy with that because it was on the end of the wall which is fine so the customer's happy with that, but they are their preferences for run this wall all the way through in line, which we prefer as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back downstairs, get the 7 by 2 out that we've got left. I'm going to construct a wall here, 6 by 2 on the steel first. And then what we're going to have is, if I keep out my own light, we're going to have uh, about, it's going to be about a 300mm-ish, 300mm-ish wall there. So... What I plan to do is I'm going to fix the 6x2 on the steel first to give me something to fix to and then start studding off that and then we're going to use the old um, ceiling rafters which are very good timber still um, pitch pine I believe they are and then we're going to then build out and pack out then to the face of the other side of the steel to get our 300mm uh, wall that's what I'm going to do now I'll uh, stick a bit of footage on what we're up to, how I'm setting it out and show you, start showing you where all the rooms are going to be, doorways etc. Okay then, I haven't shown no footage because if you want to watch uh, stud work and setting out and things, lasers and levels then go ahead, head over to the channel and have a look but that's all done now if I just turn the camera around. That's all, uh, that's all done. All we've done there is because we are using, as I explained earlier, because we're using 7b2 and then we're going to fix the timber on top of this as well to pull ourselves to this point um, we've used the last of our 7b2 and this is c24 stuff so we didn't want to waste it um, and because it's it's the internal rather than tantalized we obviously we didn't want to use it anywhere else so um, all i've done is use the last of what we've got pull the piece across there and just done it that way that's just a continuous nog in there which isn't going to uh, affect any structure at all because when i put the timbers on top I'll just go straight through and fix the top and bottom even inside the noggin anyway so that'll be more than strong enough more than strong enough so what I'm going to do now is the fire door frames there chunky 4x2-esque 5x2-esque one uh, well, I've got 4x2 left so I'm just going to mark this out now and pull all this one through and that's something else set as I've already mentioned the customer's happy to have that inside the room because of this configuration where you have to put the steels in which is fine so I'll pull this through line through all the way now to make sure it's in line so when you when you're sort of standing you look down it it is in view because uh, what we don't want to do is look down there like that and it be like that and then like that again that's the last thing we want because um, I know I'd notice it and yeah we don't want to see that so as I've said now that's all perfect there now flush with that so that plaster will screw on top and then come straight through now into this one it's the same again top and bottom plate timber on there timber on there pull my studs through right I'll show you in a bit how I've got on the studs all done then all I've done this one because the timber's a bit twisted as well is I've just used up again some more of the offcuts because we all know now how much everything costs so I've just done a 900 there flat of this MB2 and put it on the other side at 1800 to try and get rid of some of this twist that's me opening from my doorway there now and my frame after looking at it comes pretty much 
up to about there anyway, under the steel. So I'm not going to put a header in that until later on. Um, this one I will do, however, I'll have a look at that. But I don't know if we've got any off cuts yet, so it may be that um, we have a look at that once we get some more 4 by 2 which we need for the Ashlar War upstairs, um, which is almost ready to go, because the lads are just finishing the plasterboard off. So uh, for now, that's, uh, that's this sort of done. We've just had a chat about the, the window that's going there, that the customer wants the same design as this, which is a wooden um, uh, double glazed, triple glazed, and there's a six month waiting list, believe it or not, to get one manufactured. There you go, we might have to rethink that one and uh, I might have to get me our joinery tools back out and make one, or ask me dad to do it. I might do that. Right then, I'll crack on. Before we move on, because we've got, um, unlike that side where the bathroom is, I've been able to go all the way to the ceiling. What I've done here is, because I've got this steel there, behind there now, as you know, I've got to encapsulate it in this wall. I've just put some offcuts for 72, cut at 145, which is a site, which is a dimension from top plate to underside of um, floor joist. We've then crammed 100 mil insulation into the web of the steel, and then, <coughs> excuse me, just been insulating and then sticking insulation in there as well and behind those uh, timbers. And that acts as a bit of a board catcher. So I've put them all level with my uh, studs so I can fire straight in. So we'll get these pieced in now and then tomorrow I shall fit this door frame. I'll leave it there for today. That's just got one screw in it because we've got to put that brick in there yet, which we'll do so I'll brick that one in, which we'll do now we've, uh, we've got to that stage. So, like I said, we'll screw that all the way on once you've done. Fire door frame we're going tomorrow. We're going to get the timber for that wall here, which is going from the inside of that chimney rest, that corner, all the way to there to split this up. And then, if you remember from previous episodes, that opening there will be made bigger to accommodate a door frame. So, there'll be three bedrooms downstairs, one bedroom upstairs, which will be the loft. And then, this is now the quite a large from your bathroom shower's going up that right hand corner up there big shower there then we're gonna have toilet and sink here um and then the bath's going here against this wall so there we are that's obviously the old toilet that's good that's due to come out so when the plumber comes he'll rip all this out might good all that and then uh we'll start pulling the bits in downstairs now like i've got that i've got the bolts for that so i'll put the extra bolts in the stairs which i've talked about Again, if you're seeing the stairs, well, I've got to put extra down there. We're going to use the old 3B2, this stuff, because it's as straight as a die and still as good as it was when it was first uh, was cut and used, first cut and used in, in here originally. So I'll use it upstairs for the Ashlar wall, again, so wasting money. So that'll do the job for us. There's a door line to go in here, standard door lining, because you don't need a fire door frame in a bathroom. I've got to put the header in there at 2.1, take my door frame. So I'll do that. That's tomorrow's job, which will be after this uh, after this footage, because I shall mix that into this episode. Right, see you in the morning. Right, good morning. I'm not going to tell you where we are, because you should guess by now. But um, showed you end of last night where we are with all this. This is all uh, all ready to go. So we're going to do the bricks there, and I've just set myself up in there, or will do in a minute to put this this frame. This door frame, put that frame in there. Ad's gone shopping to fetch some timber for that wall there, the frame for here, and the frame for around the corner, and the frame for the bathroom. So, upstairs now then. You would have already seen this on Ad's episode, but we are 100% bored. So, Mick, good morning. 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 So, Mark is currently denying that because we're using this old Ford one and a half for this Ashlar wall under there. Waste that whatnot. It's nice usable timber, so we're using that. And then Mark's been just finishing off that bit down there that we've we've all dismissed several times, which is just a 25 on the insulation. So yeah, Mick's doing that. Set his laser up down there just to you know, build a couple of uh, modules because we've Already got them cut to length. I'm going to cut them and make two studs in effect, slot them together, and then screw them to the purling. Because the that, as you can see it there on the laser, that isn't quite upright. If you can see it on the laser there, 
uh, about 15 mil difference at the bottom out of, out of plumb so we'll sort that so i'll go downstairs and leave these lads to it and i'll go and do these uh, these door frames so we'll crack on with that and we'll see where we are next once adam comes back with all the shocking all done for the day now then didn't film anything because it is just stud work and putting door frames in i hate door frames with a passion um everybody knows that that i work with so i don't film them because i don't have any intent of showing people how to do it because i don't like doing it so i wouldn't be honestly uh interested if i'm telling you guys how to do it because i don't like doing it myself so it's in fire door frames are in all packed board catchers at the top you'll be aware that these three b twos are on here so we go past the steel because that needs encapsulating on the wall because the customer doesn't want it so that's why we've done that again it's recycling old timber and it's perfect stuff better oh excuse me better quality than than the pine stuff uh so the, all this hall's complete i've put the door line in there which bathroom standard door line doesn't need fire door frame on there so this is all framed that's all completed in there that's all good to go so tomorrow's plan then, this middle wall will be going in. So when you put the stud on, it will finish, if I just use this as an example, like that. And then the plasterboard will go down the side of that wall. So all the chimney will be in this bedroom and this bedroom will be separate. We are going to cut that out tomorrow. Take that bit of brickwork out, cut that nib down there. So I'll be able to put that door frame in there. Again, it's a fire door frame. So there's two fire door frames there. One for there, one for here. And that will complete the uh this first floor then other than making good which we know about which is all under there all the ceilings up there but we are now waiting for the plumber and electrician to come who are due oh when are they due 2018th something like that add hello plumber electrician 18th 19th did we say i think 17th for the plumber okay 17th I think. okay next week basically so next yeah. week so 17th next week we wait for them to come so we can get we can't do any ceilings or any insight because we've got to wait for for first fix to be done first fix mainly for this floor though not the loft because that is done other than plumber sorry but uh there's good access for the plumber and the electrician now um as you would have seen in the previous channel looks good from down here that's ads this is mine down here so to speak so that's all done up there now it looks nice but then you'd have already seen it i'm now showing you it again so there we are, right, we shall uh, shoot off now. So ta-da! Ta-da! Ta-da!